Before we start our laboratory, I would like to present you with a clinical case or a case scenario for, let us say, a 32-year-old woman uh, visited you in the clinic. And uh, she is complaining of uh, vaginal discharge. So, what are you going to think of? And what is the differential diagnosis? And uh, she is suffering from vaginal discharge. وأشون آه وأشون تتأكدون منها يعني أشون تعملون الفحوصات أشون الفحوصات اللي تعملونها في البداية ممكن أنه تكون فيزيولوجيكال ديسشارج هاي لها قريبة بس إذا كان سبب الديسشارج إنفكشن إذا هذا الديسشارج إذا هذا الديسشارج إنفكشن إذا هذا الديسشارج لور جينيتال تراكت إنفكشن It is either trichomonas vaginalis or candida epicans infection or bacterial vaginosis. These are the most common three causes of lower genital tract infection. Different in here. I do that. If I what are the most common causes? Of lower genital tract infection, lower genital tract infection in female, follow trichomonas vaginalis, bacterial vaginosis, and candida epicans. There is that. Okay. Then, the typical gonorrhea, the chlamydia, are they causes of genital tract infection? Sebab na, they they cause genital tract infection, but they cause upper genital tract infection. We got to what are the causes of upper genital tract infection in female, tubal nicelia gonorrhea, and chlamydia. What are the causes of lower genital tract infection in female, prone trichomonas vaginalis, candida epicans, and bacterial vaginosis? So, how are you going to deal with this woman who presented to you with? A frothy and copious vaginal discharge. Copious, yeah, I can make here. Frothy, yeah, you know, foam or how are you going to investigate her? First of all, you have to take history. Then you are going to perform a clinical examination, and after that, you have to send her for investigations. How are you going to make the diagnosis? A short shot, so. You take vaginal secretions or vaginal swab, then you put these secretions or that other sample on a slide and you examine it into alchemy directly without staining. And you examine it directly without staining the sample. Lish, we don't need to stain the sample because we don't need or we don't want to kill the parasite because we want to see the parasite motility. wet mount preparation. preparation wet mount preparation. A wet mount microscopy. To see the motility, the viability of the parasite. Yeah. And this is the most important point in the laboratory. I am not far from the laboratory. And now, what do we do? We take the vaginal discharge. We do a wet mouth microscopy, looking for the motility of the parasite. What are we going to see the motility of the parasite? Rapid jerky movement. Rapid jerky movement. So at this point, we can make the diagnosis. يعني إذا شفنا رابط جيركي فلاسايت اللي هو الترايكومونس فجاينالس and the morphology is consistent with trichomonas vaginalis we can make a diagnosis it's okay, we can make a diagnosis زين 
if we do not see the parasite. إذا ما شفنا الطفيلي أو إذا ما شفنا الفرسان. Does that mean this patient is not infected by trichomonas vaginalis? No. ليش؟ The wet mouth might have been. Oh, I'm just kidding. Sensitive to my own one hundred and fifty. Actually, finish with it. يعني the wet mouth, the microscopy with trichomonas vaginalis, ما تشوف كل الحالة. يعني إذا فرضنا إنه عندنا مئة إمرأة وهذول كلهم أو مئة مريضة كلهم مصابين بالتراكمونس فيجينالس فارسي كلهم عندهم هاي الحالة اللي يسمونها تراكمونياسيس وكلهم عملنا لهم ويت مونت مايكروسكوبي كلهم عملنا لهم مايكروسكوبي وإحنا نعرف إنه كلهم عندهم تراكمونس فيجينالس إنفكشن فقط خمسين إلى ستين بالمئة من هذول النساء الموجودين راح يطلعون فوزيتيف و40 الى 50% من هذول الموجودين راح يطلعون نيجاتيف بالرغم من اصابتهم بالتراكونوس فيجينالس انفكشن. اذا سالناك الامتحان وات از ذا سنسيتيفيتي اوف ويت ماوث مايكروسكوبي ان ذا دايجنوسيس اوف تراكونوس فيجينالس انفكشن قلوا لنا 50 الى 60% بيرسن. 50 الى 60% بيرسن. زين. تراكونوس فيجينالس از A sexually transmitted disease. Sexually transmitted disease. However, it can be transmitted by contaminated or shared bathroom equipment. The towels, the papers, the toilet paper. And they are not going to be able to do it. Zin. So, Alpha. يعني if we have a contaminated toilet paper or a contaminated towel and it has been يعني in contact with the parasite for let us say two weeks or three weeks do you expect transmission of this parasite to the to the to the patient or not why in a few hours a few hours in seven صح لانه there is no cyst stage in the trichomonas vaginalis infection يعني الباراسايت ما يكيس نفسه ما يكيس نفسه هو الطفيلي ليش يكيس نفسه حتى يحافظ على نفسه من المحيط الخارجي لكن بحالة التريكومونس فيجينالس هذا الطفيلي ما يكيس نفسه ويحافظ على نفسه ما ما عنده هاي الخاصية فكل اللي عنده هو تروفوزويد والتروفوزويد مجرد انه يطلع خارج جسم الانسان ساعات قليلة وينتهي. هتشوفون شلون بينما بحالة الانتمية بس ثلاثي كم؟ السيست ممكن طول ميكس حالة جياتيا لامبريا السيست طول ميكس حالة البلاتيريوم كولاي السيست طول ميكس. ما تمام؟ بينما الفايكوم ونص فيجينالس مجرد انه يطلع خارج الجسم راح ينتهي الفراسايت خلال ساعات. زين. It is a pathogen of the genital urinary tract and a major cause of symptomatic vaginitis. What is the habitat? What is the organ infected by trichomonas? It's the lower genital tract of females and urethra and prostate of males. So it can affect male and female. What is the infective stage? What is the diagnostic stage? Trophozoite. A little trophozoite because we don't have a cyst stage in this parasite. What is the diagnostic stage? Motile trophozoite. And you have to focus on the motility. Motility is an important part of the diagnosis. Motile trophozoite in vaginal section. What is the name of the disease? I have a lesson. Trichomoniasis. What is the name of the disease in Leishmania? Leishmaniasis. What is the name of the disease in toxoplasma? Toxoplasmosis. What is the name of the disease in intamoeba? Hysteretica. Amebiasis. What is the name of the disease in Balantidium coli infection? Balantidiasis. Balantidiasis. What is the name of the disease in Trypanosoma infection? Trypanosomiasis. African and American. Trypanosomiasis. How this parasite is transmitted? How is this parasite transmitted? Sexual, sexual transmitted disease. 
it is a very common condition على شائعة موجودة ما نعرف زين these are some life life cycle nodes trichomonas vaginas spermatozoic inhabits the region that are fertile female and they will transmit but replicates by binary fusion at the same time slide that may be a binary fusion on the side it is a sexual transmitted disease as it can survive for a few hours in moist environments as damp towels and wet sponges it can be acquired through shared bathroom equipment have to keep in mind however it has to be يعني in contact with the parasite for a few hours only to be infected and there is no cyst stage in trichomonas vaginal infection diagnosis put to come again ha we take the secretions from the prostate or vagina and we put it on a slide and we examine it directly without stain. <coughs> Looking for motility of the parasite, which is rapid jerky movement, and morphology of the parasite. And we have to and we are coming soon to the morphology. What is the sensitivity of this process? It's only 50-60% sensitivity. Then, uh, so, what is the conventional method for the diagnosis of trichomonas vaginas? Microscope. A jar, wet mouth microscope. What is the routine method for the diagnosis of trichomonas vaginas? A jar, wet mouth microscope. Is it the most sensitive test for the diagnosis of trichomonas vaginas? Jar blood. Can you mention one test that is more sensitive? Than like than wet mouth microscopy. Ozone. 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 Yeah, yeah, more sensitive. But the the nucleic acid amplification test. Yeah. PCR. PCR for nucleic acid amplification. Will PCR are more sensitive? Are more sensitive. If I'm reading this, it's sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. Nucleic acid amplification test. Oh, PCR. PCR on finish me. PCR شخص إنه أغلى من هذا المرض، بس مشكلته هذه شوية وما دائما يكون فوق، ويحتاج له يعني سكيلز ما كل ما كل الموجودين يكون يعني يشتغلوا فيه، زين. In order to make the diagnosis properly, we have to understand the morphology properly. So in order to be able to make the diagnosis, we have to understand the morphology. يعني لازم نعرف المورفولوجي. هسا خلينا نذكر المورفولوجي مع البراسايتس اللي اخذناها كل الدرس. انت مي بهستوريتيكا بيها سيجاكوليا بيها سيجاكوليا بيها سيجاكوليا بيها انجستد ار بي سيز. ال بلاتيكيوم كولاي باك شيت بيها سايتوستوم بيها سيليا بيها سيجاكوليا بيها تو نيوكليس ماكرو نيوكليس اند مايكرو نيوكليس. Tipanosoma, S-shaped parasite, be an undulating membrane, be a kinetoplast at one end, be a be a nucleus in the center. Leishmania, the amastigot stage might be ovally shaped, be a single nucleus, be a kinetoplast, be a kinetoplast to nucleus at right angle to each other. What are the most important morphological features for trichomonas vaginas? First of all, it is a large parasite. Are you with the bacteria that you see? Have you tried to see the nasty one? Have you tried? The second one, it is a pear-shaped parasite. I mean, it looks like a pear. Can you tell us the story? How do you get this thing? Oh, she is a large shape. It's a large parasite. Pear-shaped. Can you tell us the story? I mean, the second one. النقطة التالية إنه بين four pairs of flagella emerges anteriorly أربع أزوار من الفلاجلة تطلع من الانتيريال and one flagella from the posterior end so it has four pairs of flagella from the anterior end and one flagella from the posterior end it has a large nucleus single nucleus and an exosteme. An exosteme is more than the skeleton 
مال الخليه مثل الاسكيلت سو ان هاز ان اكزا ستيل اند لارج كير بيس طبعا حتى تفهمون المورفولوجي انت بتفهمون الصوره الصوره من تحفظون انتم راح تاخذ تطلعون المورفولوجي ما تجيب الفرنت سايز بس مجرد تذكرون الصوره انتم راح تذكرون المورفولوجي وبعد شوية هي انديليتنج ممبرين، انديليتنج ممبرين ريتشز هاف اوف ذا ويت اوف ذا يعني انديليتنج ممبرين لسه تقريبا نص جسم الفرنسيين. زين هاي الناس اللي تتكرر كثير في الامتحان يعني ما المورفولوجيكال فيتشرز مال الفايكومونز والجايناكس. زين هاي سكرين شوت من ويت مارك ويت مارك مايكروسكوب هي موجوده على اليوتيوب اذا طلعوها كلش واضحه. الموتيليتي مال مال بعد كونكلوجن دايجنوسز اوف تايكومونياسيس نيدز ايدنتيفيكيشن اوف نوت ايكروموزويد ان اويت مونت بريبريشن ان فاجينا سكريشن زين هاي نعيد المورفولوجيكال فيتشر اول شيء لارج باراسايت في شيء باراسايت فور انتيريور بيرز اوف فلاجيلا One posterior flagella, exospheal, large nucleus, and irradiating membrane. Ma sha'Allah. We're going to talk about two. I mean, two and a half. But we're going to talk about two. I'm going to give you two morphological features of trichomonas and gynaeus. For example, the pear-shaped parasite and the irradiating membrane. Ask me. This is a question or a question. Is there anything you want to ask? Is there anything you want to ask?